Uh, I am uh, Representative Sir Sam Onno Ibo, former member that represented Ikwa No Mahia for that constituency. You know, but now member Southeast of the Northeast Development Commission. Um, today, what happened today? We buried my elder and only brother, His Honor, Elder Chief Lawrence Mbonyerem Onibo Korea, who died a few months back. So that's what that's that taking place has taken place here today. So it's a sad one for me. Uh, my elder brother was a very focused, intelligent, and hard-working person uh, who spent years training himself in different areas of facets of life and worked in so many prominent organizations, including the oil company, before he was appointed by Abia State Government through the Judicial Service Commission as a judge and the customer records so and uh, that's what he was doing before he died i'm happy you drove through that road and you'll recall that a few years back that road was almost impossible and i'm happy that to the glory of god the efforts we started you know since 2016 to be precise, I moved the motion on that road on the 26th of May, 2016. And then I was fortunate to meet with the minister, the then minister of works, power and housing, Robert Ndaraji Fashola, S.A.N., on the 14th of June, 2016. Then from that time, we haven't looked back in trying to get this road fixed. So I'm grateful to God that these efforts are not in vain, you know, and that uh, God in his infinite mercy has really proven that we, were, we didn't do anything, you know, uh, that was not purposeful. So I give God all the glory that today people drive through that road. Some make 120, some make 140. But that's the road a few years back that was absolutely impossible. Forcing people, commuters and other people to pass through different remote, you know, local roads. And I bet today uh it is in in in, in good shape and I, I believe that in no time they'll be able to complete it so i'm grateful to god god blesses his people like i said my brother was a peaceful man and you have known me over the decades we don't look for trouble it's sad that he died at this age but um god had our prayers to make today clement to ensure that this event was you know hugely successful i pray for their safe arrival as they return to their various locations and also use this opportunity to thank them you know immensely because you saw what happened here today uh it was a huge turnout and people express you know their condolences in different ways and i'm grateful you know immensely grateful to them and i i wish them god's blessings and i pray also that god will replenish their pockets for supporting what has happened and for the love that they have shown may they receive that a thousand fold from different sources including my humble self